Hello everyone and welcome. So Bear Mountain's done. I had a blast. I will say that uh, if you ever have the chance to come up here for the Bear Mountain meet, do it. I mean, I've I've been a sponsor for it for a number of years, um, but there's nothing like coming and actually experiencing it. Uh, some of the roads just that you'll drive down, they're awesome. Um, we did run into a little bit of an issue where there was also a bike race, and I mean bike as in bicycle. So <laughs> a lot of the um, a portion of the path was very very slow go um, and uh, I caught some of the driving uh, footage from my little GoPro mounted in my car as I, I was driving but it only got about 50 ish minutes of it or something like that um, it got about half of it uh, I got all the way until right after we passed the bikes I believe um, so there's not a whole lot of the actual twisties um, I did not go, as they say, balls to the wall. Um, I was there to enjoy the drive. Uh, my son uh, rode with me for part of the ride. Uh, my wife followed me in our uh, in our Tundra, which was an eventful thing trying to <laughs> fit that full uh, that Tundra around some of them curves. But she did it. She did a very awesome job. Uh, no extra scratches, so that's always a good thing. Um, so I just wanted to shoot this video real quick because, um, well, number one, I'm traveling still. Uh, I am. Uh, this is our last night in Mawa. It's the day after the Bear Mountain meet, meet. and uh, we actually went into New York City today. Um, that was an experience. Also, um, God bless y'all that live up here and have to deal with this traffic all the time. Uh, it's even on our worst days. <laughs> I don't think it's anywhere near this bad. Um, so, uh, all, all y'all that have to deal with this, man, bless y'all. So, um, the car is loaded up. Uh, I loaded it back up last night. It is over there. Um, I'm sitting here at my, in my trailer, uh, just shooting this video real quick. So, uh, I'm gonna try to make it quick because I'm, like I said, I'm traveling. I don't have any of my editing stuff with me, but I want to put something up, um, because... I actually got to meet some of you who actually watched my videos and it was humbling to say the least um, you know it's one thing to see somebody comment something on a video but then it's totally different whenever you actually meet them and then they say that you've inspired them to do stuff um, that that is awesome and uh, the guys who own Mr. Boris, you know who you are. Um, I'll, I don't know if I'll put a, a picture of it up here or not. I might stick it at the end. I don't know. Again, no video, no editing uh, stuff, so I may or may not can do that. But um, y'all, y'all deserve uh, that trophy that y'all got. Um, y'all have a very, very nice spider. Um, so. About the meet, I mean, it's it's actually the the first meet that I've been to in 13 years. The last meet that I went to was uh, North America 2005 in Topeka, Kansas. Um, and we didn't have as many cars there as we did here at Bear Mountain, I don't think. Uh, it was, we had, uh, last count we had 167 MR2s there. And we had a few imposters. Uh, we had a Miata, a Porsche, uh an imposter all track i believe <laughs> um but they were all here to help support the calls and at last count uh after i talked to rich um i believe that it was over seven thousand dollars raised for the american cancer society um that that is awesome um i now know why joe pearlstein loved uh, these roads, uh, he loved this area, uh, he loved MR2s, and he was also uh, very active in ham radio, which I also am a ham radio operator. 
Um, so a lot of this is near and dear to my heart. Um, I love good roads. I love good driving roads. I don't really care about going, you know, balls to the wall around the corners and stuff. I just, I want a good road. Um, and there's a lot of them up here. Um, just not the highways. No, not the highways. <laughs> so, um, anyways, uh, I'm rambling a bit, but just bear with me. Um, it's, it's been an emotional day. We, uh, we went to the, um, Ground Zero Museum, um, and if, if you were alive whenever 9-11 uh, happened, you know where you were when you got the news. Um, I will never forget where I was. Um, and then just seeing some of the images and hearing some of the stories that uh, happened, uh, that was going on for the museum, it, it's very... <sighs> It's very complex, let's just say. If you ever have the opportunity to, please go. Um, it's not much money for the experience that you get because if you did not live up here, um, you, 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 you still feel like you were there um, and you understand a lot better. So, anyway, uh, Still, I'm still dealing with that song. So, uh, anyway, back to the meat. Uh, awesome people. Um, uh, I got to see a bunch of uh, people that I have not seen in years. Um, I got to see uh, a couple of friends uh, who I, I, mean, I talk to on a regular occasion, but I don't really see them a lot. Uh, so, that was nice. Um, and... So, at the end, they did the raffle. Um, I want a couple of things. A, a detail kit, and um, which, thank you, Stoner Detailing. Um, and a book, an MR2 book. I can't remember who wrote that, but a thank you for whoever did that. Um, but the thing that uh, surprised me the most, and this goes along with what, um, along with the car, uh, not not this part, but my son was so happy that we uh, actually won the long the farthest distance traveled award uh, because we came 18 plus hours uh, up here to to the meet. Um, you had to either drive the car or trailer it. Uh, you couldn't fly in. You had to have your car here. So um, you know if you're going to come in from California and try to beat me next year, you might want to drive it or trailer it. <laughs> so. Um, Anyway, uh, we won that. My son, he, he was so ecstatic to get that because, well, for whatever, you know, he's eight. He, he just, that's his thing, so. Um, but the one that got me was uh, Hux Racing sponsored a, uh, with a weigh-in. And I knew that the, um, the one NZ was lighter than the stock engine. Uh, but I didn't realize how much so. Uh, I weighed in at 2191, uh, 191 pounds over a ton. Um, the nearest car MR2 period that weighed in was a Spider, and it was 56 pounds heavier than the uh, than my first gym. So I was the lightest car there. Period. Not just first gym, um, which really really amazed me um and it made it more of a 50 closer to a 50 50 weight distribution in the car um it was like 994 right at a thousand pounds for the front axle or front two wheels and then like 1100 or something like that roughly i'm i'm rounding uh on the rear um so it i mean even whenever i was driving before i knew uh, how much it weighed I could tell that it, it handled different. Some of these uh, roads that if you you were going around the curve and you let off or you hit the brakes, you know, in a stock in a stock car, the rear end could kick out on you. Um, that's the oversteer that you know so many people rave about. And oh god, god, you're going to kill yourself. No, you're not. Not if you know what you're doing. But uh, there was a couple times whenever I did that just to see what it would do. I mean, I was going slow enough. I could I could correct it if I had to. And it actually just stuck. Um, so the weight, the weight distribution is a whole lot better. 
Um, so that that was that was fun, and the car did awesome. Um, oh, and that twenty one ninety one was a full tank of gas, full fluids, everything. Um, so it's not like I went with an empty tank. I filled up before I left Mississippi, and it didn't even barely use any gas at all by the time I got to the thing. So it gets awesome fuel economy too. Uh, and I know there are some people that say, you know, why one NZ? Actually, I I got like two people asked me that. Um, a lot of others were like, oh, well, that's different. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's different, but you know, it works. It's uh, it's something you not everybody does. Um, everybody, well, a lot of people could do it. Um, it's a it's an easy enough swap that pretty much anybody could do. Um, and it really helps your handling as far as your weight distribution goes and stuff like that. Uh, power, I still need to get it on a dyno. Uh, we're leaving here and driving down uh, through Washington, D.C. We're going to stay there for a couple of days and going to um, visit some of the museums and stuff. Uh, trying to get my son some edumacation, which, as some people say. Um, let him know that there's more to the world than just Mississippi. Um, so, anyway, this video is running a little long. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I know I'm rambling, but um, it's been a really, really awesome experience. Um, I really want to thank everyone who has uh, done anything to help further this event, uh, the Bear Mountain event. Uh, Rich, man, you, you are a saint. Uh, I, I can't I can't even begin to fathom what you had to go through to organize this event uh, you and Mark and man y'all just hats off to y'all you know that, that's awesome um, and to everyone who came out and helped support the event you know y'all y'all were what made it happen uh, y'all are what helped raise the money uh, and we were able to donate all the money um, to go to uh, I believe it was American Cancer Society or um and uh joe's name so uh if you can next year man just or whoever <laughs> please come um i would love to see us break the 200 uh car mark next year and uh make me you know blow my mind man make it 250 something like that um you know it it's a little bit of a drive for some um but i mean heck 18 hours dude I, I did it <laughs> anybody can do it uh, so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping it up uh, but you know thank you to all the people who have actually watched my videos and took the time out to say hey uh, you know that that really does mean a lot to me uh, to be able to actually see the people and shake their hands who watch my videos um, you know it makes me uh makes me keep wanting to do it you know because i definitely ain't doing it for the money <laughs> there ain't no money in this but um anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and uh lock this trailer up and then go get a good night's sleep so we can drive down to dc i'm gonna get this uh, get this video uploaded so uh, after DC, the next stop is actually Atlanta. We're going to go hang out with uh, Doug, um, MR220V. Uh, if you know him from the forums, uh, he also owns WireGap. Uh, if you know, if you've ever done any engine swap and needed some uh, a wiring harness, he does awesome, awesome, awesome plug-and-play um, wiring harnesses. So uh, if you ever need anything, look him up. Um, you know, it's uh, WireGap.com, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but you know if i can ever get together with him or if i can find a dyno around atlanta that would be willing to let me throw the uh, mr2 on there and uh, break the horsepower limit of it <laughs> not <laughs> um I, you know i'll probably shoot a video on that but um anyway so i don't want to keep this anything you know i want to keep this under 15 minutes so if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Um, if you actually did say hey to me at the uh, meet, you know, comment down below. Um, and uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, smash the subscribe button and uh, click the little bell out next to it so you'll be notified whenever I upload the next video. And we're at 15 minutes, so I will catch y'all later.